All right, so here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Got to think he's going to try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon, whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Shemaev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Hamzat Chimaev ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Akashev tonight. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, Hamzat Boris Chimaev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Makachev! Herbert Dean's in the building, Ready, he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground, where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet... In a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true 5 tool player who many believe, five years in, could just be the king of the lightweight division. Oh, more attack. Yep. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Shemaya's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, 
Chet's back in half court. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Islam Akashev getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, he passes the half. Oh, he's going triangle again. And he's out again. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Staying busy from bottom position here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. See? All right, so we get you some replays here as this one goes the distance, and I think a little bit of an edge to that corner. Just ready to fight. Ready. Second round here. Akashev gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Straight right is there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots thus far. It's crazy because the takedown set up the striking. He is limiting himself in his approach because he's not using a skill that he's become known for. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. That strike blocked by Oh! He's wobbling now. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Here in round two, much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Fighter trying to pass here. Uva gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. We I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. And he's back up. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Chimaya. Now a kick to the body. Under two minutes now to go. And now some separation. Straight right hand, no good. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Whips on the straight right hand. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. How in the world did he escape that submission? Alright, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, how about the accuracy to land 
right there, his opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That's some power there. Going for the takedown here, nothing doing that. <laughs> Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. She might have gets the single leg takedown, well played. Three minutes to go in round three. into half guard the guard he's got that arm triangle watch him pass to the opposite side it looks real tight he'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique oh he escapes he got out I mean, wow that is great submission defense oh, and he continues to pour it on he mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking gotta be careful to not gas out here but at least you have to admire the approach and we told you about that hook. There it is. Oh, that's another hook. Guess the single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Chimaev gets back up again. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Short time now in the round. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those up Oh, nice takedown defense. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Islam Akasha. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Great defense by this fighter. Waning seconds here of round number three. Uh -huh. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship hey, round. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the score. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice. Nicely done. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. And now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Nice punch there. Oh, a huge block there. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his... Takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, he's out. Back to his feet. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Shimaev's in half goal. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. 
Shemayev's looking to pass out of the half guard. Oh, in good position to rip off a of Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, great submission defense. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands. That had some zip on it. Slicing and dicing. Looking good with these elbows tonight, Shane. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to slice and dice in the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. As he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Under 30 seconds. Twenty seconds left. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. Solid punch by him there. Takedown defense holds up. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. That's a nice jab by him there. Oh, nice. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world-famous octagon. We got two fighters who are nearly gassed out here, Chad. Both of them are exhausted, and they are questioning what they think of the ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Well, he's setting up for a submission now. Right a little compromising spot here. Triangle choke is right there. All right, very late in the fight. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Left hook, right hand. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Islam Makhashev. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Islam Akasha gets back up. All right, now we got some blood, ladies and gentlemen. It looks as though that shot has cut him open. Now we're in a fight. Let's now go. Now we're in a fight, John. I mean, you got the blood flowing. Guy's got a cut. Let's see how this fight plays out going forward. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Landed that one. And he blocks the shot there. Choke, maybe might have thought better of it. The next thing you know, he is sleeping on the mat. What a knockout here tonight.
here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Islam Makachev. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent.